Tom Hanks wouldn't recognize the place. Mostly because they shot many of the interiors on a set, but former real life owners Loretta and Jim wouldn't know the place either. When you turn around and look the other way, everybody knows there's a stairway, an open stairway over on this side. Now there's an open floor plan. The new owners blew out the kitchen wall. They replaced the countertops, backsplash, and appliances. White wood paneling brightens the front entrance, and iron railings lead upstairs. They left no stone unturned on the main floor in the world's most famous houseboat. One of a kind. Rick Miner has been selling floating homes here for two decades, and having grown up in Hollywood, he had connections. So we're going to say he discovered the sleepless houseboat. OK, I'll take credit for it. Darn right I'll take credit for it. <laughs> he says the details are sketchy. This was the prime one. The long dock, the walk. I mean, the director really had a good eye. In fact, I think I've pointed him in the right direction. We get to run around the corner like Hanks desperately looking for his son in the movie. Meg Ryan once strolled down the dock looking for Tom. In a nighttime scene on the same dock, he contemplates life and love on the famous bench. This is the actual spot where Tom Hanks, the actor, the famous actor, sat. But I should let you know, full disclosure, this is not the movie bench. The old one had to be replaced, but it's a fine bench nonetheless. Back inside, there's a trendy slider that reveals the TV now. The ceiling went from white to natural wood, and the corner with the window seat has a higher ceiling to open up the room even more. Two and a half decades later, Sleepless is sort of the mother of all floating homes. She's still looking as good as ever. Big thanks.